Developers contend that a construction-led recovery after the coronavirus crisis will aid our economy. One such project has just been greenlit. We've been working now in and investing in Dunbar now for close on 27 odd years. Uh, we've been working on behalf of Hall Hill Developments there and we've now to date uh, there's been something like 1,500 odd houses built, but more correct, more importantly, there's been something like 600 new jobs created. And we're currently contributing about 30 million uh, a year into the local economy. And um, recently we um, agreed with the local authority that we would incorporate a piece of public art in the, an area that we we're going to be bringing forward for development. John Muir was born in, in Dunbar in 1838, emigrated with his family to the States, over time became one of the foremost pioneers for the environment, created the Sierra Club, the largest environmental club in the world. He petitioned um, the uh, President and Congress of, of America to create national parks. And after his death, Yosemite and Yellowstone National Parks were created. So we decided that we would um, create this piece of public art, a great big brown bear, which now stands seven meters beside the A1. It's illuminated at night. But it's caught the imagination of, of the local community and the community at large. And uh, we unveiled the, the um, piece of art in November, but by Christmas time, our comms people put it onto their website, and we'd had over 8 million hits, which is quite phenomenal. Young people like it. We had a schools competition. The, um, uh, we gave it a name, and the name is um, the Dun Bear. And so we're bringing forward a planning advice note to consult with the community, and it will be a mixed use development. Uh, it will be very sustainable. Um, we intend to generate renewable heat and energy on the site and requiring all of the buildings to be built to the highest standards possible in terms of the environment. We know that in East Lothian, when we did the last 60 houses, we advertised it again using um, social media and we stopped taking names of qualified people who were key workers when we got to 350. We'd only 60 units there at that time. So that we know there's a demand, we know there's a need, but there's equally an appreciation of our key workers now, even more so than they were in the past. And it's strongly linked to economic growth as well. If we don't provide roofs over our heroes, it'll be a sad day. And it's not gonna cost the government any money to do this. And now, there is a most fabulous facility there in Dunbar for the community where the football club, the rugby club, the tennis club, and they've got a community facility there that's used 364 days a year. That is the kind of thing we want to build upon and, and add and create more benefit to the community. Ultimately, this is a project that shows the construction industry is keen to build a post-pandemic future. Ian McNally, That's TV.